Hey, 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 what's going on, people? Drayton Michaels, dog trainer, behavior technician here at Urban Dogs today, waiting on a client, but I wanted to talk to you about little dogs. I love little dogs. The thing you have to understand about little dogs is they have a different perspective than other dogs. I'm talking about small dogs, dogs who are anywhere from four pounds to maybe 14, 20, maybe 25, but definitely under 25. And the really little dogs, the really small ones, have a different perspective than dogs who are medium or larger. With smaller dogs, people are less intimidated. They're more invasive, so they might be more prone to touch your dog or to approach your dog or to pet your dog, and your dog may not always be interested in having that invasive, tactile interaction. And over time, that can cause little dogs to run away, to become bitey or barky, and generally stressed by interactions with humans. As a byproduct of being a smaller dog, dogs are gonna get picked up more. So that may result in a dog being fearful of or stressed by an approach or a reach. And then when it comes time to wrangle the dog, things can get really you know, frustrating for people because they can't get the dog. Um, I've gotten a number of communications over the years where people are lamenting over the fact that it took them, you know, a half hour to get their dog out from under the bed and they were late for work, etc. And this is a byproduct of dogs being picked up and not paid for. So the solution is do paid pickups. When you pick up your little dog, put a piece of food in their mouth and reward them for being picked up. You can even hold them in your arms like you're doing a stay and pay them as you would if they were doing a sit stay or a down stay. And that's gonna really help mitigate their stress about being picked up. Little dogs are gonna be possibly more fearful and stressed by traffic, feet, and also wheels. So you have to take that into consideration that from their perspective, they're gonna see things in a much more intense manner when they're low to the ground. That requires counter conditioning. That means you have to yes and treat the dog for sudden environmental contrast, which can be challenging because you have to get all the way down to your ankle. So one of the ways that you can help little dogs who have a fear or stress about being out in public and being on leash is you can put them in a Bjorn and you can carry them and you can yes and treat them under your shoulder, which is gonna be a lot easier. Now you can still let them walk around and gather scent and you know be on leash and have some time there, but after they've done their business and they've had sufficient time to gather scent, pop them in the Bjorn, and you're gonna see that they're gonna be a lot less stressful and it's much easier to counter condition them to sudden environmental contrast when they're under your arm and they're in a Bjorn. I started Little Dog Guru because I really love little dogs and I work with lots and lots of them. And what I want people to always understand is little dogs, just like any other dog, they don't have a moral imperative to be bratty or spoiled or any of that. That's nonsense. Dogs do what works for reinforcement. And many times little dogs are barking and they're stressed because, well, they're little and everything is bigger than they are. And just like we talked about in this little short video, a lot of times people don't give little dogs the same consideration they would if it's a bigger dog dog for whatever reason. So just remember that if you've got a little dog and you have challenges with them, look no further. LittleDogGuru.com can help you and get you on the right path so you have less stress and more success with your little dog. I absolutely adore little dogs and I give them big considerations so that they can have a stress-free life. My name is Drayton Michaels and I'm a dog trainer behavior technician. Check me out on LittleDogGuru.com and you can get the help you need in a force-free way for your dog.